Hello comrades and welcome, we're doing the second cycle of Zanzara the Hidden Portal, only this time with the fully finished, fully translated into English global mod. So many new fairies and new changes, let's find out just how many. I decided to skip the intro because you probably have already seen it. But just in case you didn't, check out my old Let's Play of Zanzara the Hidden Portal, the vanilla one. Already I see something new, this guy now has a fairy. Let's talk to him, see if he has anything to say. Hey, a giant! Strange times have come to Zanzara. First those horrid little pixies appear, and now giants are intruding in our village. Those vicious pixies stole my valuable fairy sphere. Now I can't catch any more fairies. I suspect the pixies have hidden it somewhere in the village. If only I knew where. Uh, since you're not going to leave us alone anyway, you can look for it. I urgently need my silver sphere, and I could give you some of my fairy spells and things if you give it back to me. Aha! That wasn't in the vanilla game. But on one condition, I'm not naive enough to trust humans. If the pixie keeper Lucius shows somehow that it is possible to do business with you, for example entrust you with an item, at least a map of the fairy garden, then I'm ready for a deal. Otherwise not, because everything can be expected from you, giants. Whatever you say, man. Okay, we got a side quest. Find the silver sphere and get an item from Lucius. Well, we know exactly what that item is. First, let's go and get that silver sphere. I know exactly where it is. Okay, apparently I don't. That's the wrong house. My memory's a bit rusty. Like me, really, really rusty. And now teleporting to the tavern. What strange manner of creature are you? A human? I thought you had all died out centuries ago. I'm Rufus, the Fairy Master. Who are you? Have you come to help us fight the Pixie Plague? Then you need your own fairy. In this area there are many wild fairies. They'll attack you if you come too close to them. You'll only be able to defend yourself with your own fairy. You had best go straight to my house. There are three fairies there that you can choose from. Pick one, then you can help us fight the Pixie Plague. Take this key so you can enter my home. But don't try to trick me and take more than one fairy. That's a line of dialogue Rufus never had before. Pretty sure there was an exploit in vanilla that you could grab all three fairies from his house. That was patched, whatever it was. So yeah, you can't do that anymore in global mod. And here's Rufus's home. We see that there are new fairies here instead of the old ones. Blumella as nature, Goop as water, and a new fairy, Golem, as stone. Okay, I've picked everything up. Now I'll let you have a closer look at the Golem. As much as I want to take the new fairy, I'm going to take Blue Miller. She is more trustworthy as a fairy, honestly. Ooh, hello there. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I had to take a small break from Let's Place. A human? Now that is a rare sight. If I may introduce myself, I am Lucius, Guardian of Pixies. I am guarding this exit to prevent any pixies from passing. They would wreck- You can help me fight the pixie plague with your fairy. Do you know how to fight with fairies? Well, then I'll get the collecting bag and we'll meet at the other end of the garden. But first, I must put your knowledge into practice. Oh, come on, Lucius, I know how to fight. Oh, by the way, yeah, our first fairy master will have to face is Lucius himself. Forgot to mention that. Dummy. Be prepared to be tested, young Blumella. Oh, wow. Could you say something even more cliche than that? Oh, I don't know. How about... I'm gonna <laughs> you and eat your <laughs> stents. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that extreme. Oh, would you look at this? An arena that usually appears at the end game now appears at the very beginning. Well, practically the very beginning. And I'm forced to navigate through it while avoiding shots from this woman. Great. Just another day's work of a fairy, I guess. Do all Blumellas like to complain? Or are you like the odd one out? Oh, I'm not like the other Blumellas. Not like the other Blumellas, hmm. Are you by any chance registered on Reddit? The floof is a Reddit. Never mind. I suppose this is something of a tutorial fight? Well. Compared to the battles I heard are coming up ahead, this definitely is a tutorial fight. <laughs> that sounded ominous. Oh, Blumella, we've yet to see what the creator of the global mod has in store for us. But I assure you this will get hardcore. Why are all nature fairies so scampy looking? Hey, we're nature. We're supposed to be scampy. <laughs> Lick me, you butterfly wing troglodyte. Hey, at least she had eyes. Okay, not bad. If you have trouble finding my house, take a look at this map. It's not quite complete, but it should be sufficient for the fairy garden. And be careful, a shadow elf was seen in the gardens. Most likely that's only a scout, but for now you best not fight him if you encounter him. 
He must be well prepared for battle. I'm afraid this is a direct threat from the Shadow Realm, although in any case, they will have to take Dunmore first. Act 1. Before the Storm. That sounds like trouble for sure. Yeah, that's a Shadow Elf he's talking about. Of course it's gonna be trouble. Now that we have the map of the Fairy Garden, the Silver Sphere of that Elf and the Fairy behind us, let's go talk to him and see if he will reward us for being a trustworthy giant. Oh, you found my Silver Sphere! Please give it to me! In return, I will give you a fairy and some more of my things. Hooray! That's the first side quest we've completed in Zenzara Global Mod. Aren't you proud, Lamella? Well, I would have been if it was my side quest. Oh, come on. Don't be selfish. Anywho, this elf has Darbu plus resistance energy spell, Sorella plus storm arrow regeneration and mana potion, Zombie a new fairy plus Razro plus crimson fever and bloody dreg, and uh, untouchable, I think, and Akrita, light spurs, hail of knives, and falling rocks. I'll take Darbu, thank you very much. Why did you take me? Am I not a mistake? Well, maybe you are, Darbu. But mistakes can grow into successes. Yes, because unfortunately, Dog, you can evolve and I cannot. Well, that's what you're wrong, Blumella. The Global Mall provided a way for you to evolve. Anyway, we're now gonna go to the Fairy Garden. Surprise, bitch! Really? Really? How? Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. Wild fairies appear in different places now. God dang it, I was scared almost to death! Thankfully, Darby protected me. I was simply following the owner's directions. That was an impressive performance, Darbu. I think I'll stick with you behind my back from now on. Very well. Razov, this is my tree! You are so loud! Are you sending him to fight a stone guy? Yes, I am. This is already my fourth opponent. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I have never seen this arena before. Neither have I. Yeah, this was added in the global mod. I don't know if the creator designed it themselves, or if someone else did it. Hey, cool! More free shit! <laughs> Try not to curse so much, Blumella. Think of the sensors, for God's sake. Sensors? What sensors? Does the 4-4 not exist here? Of course it doesn't! Wait, fairies are not supposed to come out of that tree! Just the distance this Korgot has to go to challenge me is impressive! Yeah, I forgot to mention that there are new spawn points in Global Mod as well. And now he's gonna fly all the way back. Was it worth it, Korgot? Was it really worth it? Get your ass kicked by a girl and then having to go all the way back to your rotten tree. It also apparently can teleport. Oh, a human in our world. I've never seen a human before, let alone one with a fairy. Come on, let's see who's fairy's best. If you win, I'll give you a valuable item. Well, only if I have no choice. I mean, if we have no choice. Me and my fairies. I can probably take on all these guys myself. Yeah, but let's share some glory with Darbu, okay? After all, he is effective against water. Fine. Good on you, Blumella. So generous. Yeah, 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 I don't need your puppy love. I'm not here by my will. By whose then? I don't know, but it's not my will. Grems, they're all so cowardly. Why isn't your energy friend fighting me instead of you? Come on. You know why. Because one victory over someone I am ineffective against is enough. I am immune to bravado. What he said. At last, the time has come for me to demonstrate my dominance over water. Water is indeed a good conductor of electricity. Why does that matter? I have no idea. Take this! <laughs> Turns out two against three. The odds weren't in their favor. Indeed. We have outleveled them. Your skill is surprising. Take this mana potion. You can use it to recharge your fairy's magic energy. You better check whether your fairy still has sufficient mana. If its energy is used up, it'll automatically use up its life essence, which is not very good for it, to put it mildly. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Yeah, as if we didn't know that already. Yes, repetitive but important information. Not exactly important. I disagree. I don't care what you think. Stop bickering, I've got to end the video. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two. Peace and out. <laughs>